Okay, typically now in December, we get the eggs that are distributed to the various schools that participate. We get uh, usually about three jars of eggs, which might be anywhere from uh, 150 to 200. And the, that gives us the opportunity to raise some in case a school has a problem. And it's very seldom that the schools have problems anymore, but this year we just happened to have a, a couple schools that had problems immediately, so we got rid of a lot of ours. Once, once we put the eggs, I don't have a breeder basket here, but we have a little small basket that hides, uh, hangs on the side of the, uh, the, uh, the crates here, and you keep the eggs in there isolated until the, they, they hatch and the albums start moving around. When you finally start seeing, you know, the, what resembles a fish and they're really moving around good, then we just dump them into the crate. And I'll just take the top off of the crates here. But our little system here, we have an aerator and it brings uh, aeration into the, all the tanks. We can see here in a minute, we don't have a lot of eggs in this tank because that's this is the tank they uh, stole or the crate they stole them out of. But once you see the alva or the fry start coming to the surface, that's when they're ready to be fed. That you know they're they're looking there. They've eaten, you know, they've lift off their sacks, their egg sacks, and now it's time to feed them. And all we really really do with the fact that we have crates here with holes in the bottom, it's very difficult to overfeed them. But I usually just take a pinch of feed between my two finger, finger and thumb here and just sprinkle it around. And you can see them, they'll start to come up. Not all of them at once, but they'll start to come up. And for the number, you know, there's no, no measurement. It's just put some in there and they'll go at it sooner or later. You can see them coming up now. They know it's there. And so far, we've had good luck. We've had a few uh, eggs that never hatched, but so far, um, we've had good luck as far as uh, hatching. And we keep these covers over just so if a bird or something gets in here, we don't have any problem. I'm going to try to step back just a second. In this crate, you can see we have quite a few more. And again, we'll do the same thing. The feed bag. There's more feed in the uh, in the upstairs part here. Just brush it around so everybody gets a chance to get some. Now this, with this many fish in here, I'll, I'll give them maybe three or four pinches. And luckily, we haven't seen. Uh, oh, I've been doing this in the last week or so. We haven't had any dead fish or anything like that. But there's a little net up here and this old uh, basting thing. It's easier to get them out with the basting to just uh, go in and suck them out. So I think that's pretty good there. They look like they're moving. So typically by about the end of April, Maybe uh, a little bit later. The schools by that time are pretty much set. They, they won't need any more eggs if they lose them. And um, we'll just take these that we have here. And Chuck Dinkle, who's the director of the, or the co chair of the uh, Trout Unlimited uh, Trout in the Classroom, he will take these either with him to go release them or I'll just dump them in the stream out here. And that's it. So what, when are they delivered and when do they get taken out? Okay, the, the, this, it used to be later in the year, but now they're delivered before Christmas. These, were, these came about the 1st of December. The DNR gives us the eggs at free. However, there's been a change in the DNR administration and now they want the eggs to come from a federal hatchery. And we've had some shipping problems and we we had a lot of mortality, but uh, then they shipped some more and we did a better job of it. Uh, anyway, and then the, the releases start 
anywhere from April to May. And it's usually you know, all the releases are done before the school year is over. Uh, some schools take a field trip. They come to the uh, wherever we're going to release the eggs. We do a lot of it uh, up on the, the little uh, little Catoctin stream, which is a park up in uh, outside of uh, Middletown. We do some here, and they do some in Thurmont. Some of the schools. Uh, won't uh, take a field trip. They don't. Have, they, the principal won't uh, allocate the money, so the parents sort of drive the kids, and they they do it usually up in Thurmont, on uh, Big Hunting Creek or something. The the DNR gives us permits that we distribute to the school so they can stock the eggs. Uh, you need a permit to do that, but that's about it. It's pretty simple. But the only thing bad about it is that the big fish, we have the automatic feeder. These we've got to do it by hand anyway. So you have to come over here every day.